Okay, this is the last pickup on this stop. Not bad getting into it. Quite a bit of room. This place is really, really big. As you come in here, the shipping office is actually right through there. But in order to get to it, you have to drive all the way down to the end of this building here. There's a lot of activity going on, so I'm not going to film a whole lot. But you have to drive all the way down to the end of this building here. And go around it. And there's about three more buildings behind us. There's them trailers over there. And there's some more here. Alright. This is one of the locations where the address does not exist. It's uh, one best drive. When I received this load, I didn't even have an address with it. Uh, we're going to get up here this way because there's a lot of mud on the other side. So we're going to get in and I'm just going to sit back and wait. They've been pretty fast about getting me loaded, but I don't know how long it's going to take here. <sighs> All right. They just set the dock plate down, so um, they're actually already starting on me, which is good. Lord, I got a bunch of stuff in here. Ah, much better. Um, so Qualcomm directions, um, pretty accurate. They can be a little confusing, um, mainly because the address here doesn't exist. So you're, you know, unless you know where it's at, it's kind of hard to find. I called them and confirmed the, the directions. And then I programmed the GPS on my trip planning uh, app on the, on the GPS so that it could bring me straight here. No real big issues. Um, it, it had me take a turn, or it told me to take a turn. Still not sure if I took the turn or not. Um, when you turn on to industrial, the road curves around and I guess that counts as a left-hand turn. I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm going to be taking this to West Dallas. I'm not going to make it today. There's no, there's no way. I just don't have enough time left. So I'm going to take this trailer to our West Dallas yard, and I'm going to drop it off. I'll take a little bit of video of the West Dallas yard, and then, uh, and then we'll leave it at that. Uh, that'll end this whole trip. So. I'm going to try to piece all these videos together and put them all in one in one uh, video, but I'm not sure about that yet because I haven't I haven't tried doing that. Um, anyway, you know that's it. So uh, I could have took a little bit more video of this place, but like I said, there's a lot of traffic. There's a lot of trucks moving in and out. Um, a lot of people roaming around. Um, so. I'm just, I'm not going to get out there in all that way and, and in all that business and, you know, just so I can take some video. Um, but anyway, y'all saw, you know, what you needed to see, really. This is the dock. It's huge. I mean, this thing covers several acres of land. Don't know about overnight parking, but it's wide open. You know, there's, there's nothing here. You know, no gates, no, no nothing to go through, no guards, you know, so I'm sure that you know as big as this place is I doubt they'd care if you park in the back as you go around this building cut back and then come back around there's a place there for shipping um, shipping parking so uh, while you go in and talk to the shipper and uh, the place may be open 24 hours a day I don't know but anyway uh, that's it for today 
uh, or yeah for for now I may make another video tonight when I stop uh, I'm not sure where I'm gonna stop yet I'm fixing to plan that out here in just a minute I want to get that done before they get me loaded so we'll catch y'all later uh, y'all take care and peace out